Hey guys, today I'm going to make a very quick video and I'm going to talk about why I'm skipping the X-Line pre-release. And I'm skipping it because I want to buy Unstable. And you might be like, whoa, why don't you do both? Well, so, okay, I'll tell you my financial situation. I do not have student loans. I went to two very, very expensive universities, but luckily I paid off all my student loans. I own my own company and I have a lot of not a lot, but I have a considerable amount of disposable income and I cannot keep up. I cannot keep up with the products. Um, I want Unstable for the land, but I cannot afford to buy Ixlon and Unstable. I cannot afford to buy Ixlon or Iconic Masters. So I can't even, I don't know if I can afford Unstable and Iconic Masters, right? In case of both, it's gonna hit the wallet pretty hard, especially given that case of Iconic Masters only four. Um, I don't know, you, you get a lot less for the, mas the Master Series, right, in terms of cardboard itself. But back to why I'm skipping Ixalan pre-release. Normally I do three to five pre-releases and they take the whole weekend from Friday midnight on the way until Sunday at noon. And they cost uh, $30 a pre-release, so that's $150. And then I'll buy like a few boxes, I'll buy some fat packs, it's too much. I cannot spend, my expected spend would probably be $400 on Ixlon, the $150 from the pre-lease, and then let's say half a case or something like that, and then a few fat packs, $300 plus. I can't spend $400 plus on Ixlon. When Unstable is coming, and if every, I assume that every boost pack has a land, I like that. I like to know my value is in the booster pack. I, I like to know that. I don't want to do this random lottery system all the time. I want to be like, oh, cool. Nice. I got my land. All right, I'll put it aside and then I'll have fun with these other cards. So for me, Unstable is interesting because of the land. The land, I think, is very beautiful. I think it's better than Unglued and Unhinged. Like, I will tell you that straight up. It's not as good as Black Bordered uh, Betas because they're originals. So I would say if I had to pick, I would pick the Black Bordered Betas and Alphas. All right, back to the issue of, there's too much. I bought Commander, I bought one of each Commander deck. That was a few hundred, what, like 150, $150 on the market. I bought, uh, I don't know why I bought this, but <laughs> I bought uh, from the vaults. I bought from the vault uh, Angels and Demons, or what was it? It's the one with a Chroma in it, but they, uh, not a Chroma. Yeah, it's the one with a Chroma and Avacyn's in it as well. I bought that, I'm buying some portal, my PayPal has been suspended because of mysterious behavior from just China, I guess. And so I do not have access to my PayPal for some time, so I cannot continue to buy my Falias and Moleras and my new Falias and Drainas, so I'm eventually going to need to buy those. And yeah, I, I don't know what else to say is, I can't keep up. And I can't imagine, I can't imagine most people being able to. Uh, I just cannot, like, you had Commander, then you have Iconic, then maybe you have uh, 25th Masters, which is crazy, which might, I mean, to really sell 25th Masters and have it so close to Iconic, it has to be really good. So I know I need to save money for that. It's, and then Christmas presents, holidays, travel, I have some weddings to go to. I don't understand how anyone can buy all this stuff. I mean, I like it all, and I'm going to sacrifice standard. So I'm choosing not to play standard so I can play modern and like EDH. And that's why I'm not going to pre-release. I have gone to every single pre-release starting in, in a row since um, Innistrad. I have not missed a single pre-release since Innistrad. Even if I was in like a San Francisco, I would go to a pre-release, I'd find a local game store. Even if I was in New York City, I would find a game store. Uh, even if I was back home in Pennsylvania, I would find a game store. This is gonna be the first one I miss in a long time. So Innistrad was law school. Yeah, Innistrad was law school. So this is gonna be the first one I missed in, uh, since I didn't have a job or since I, I've been out of school. Anyway, that's it. Hi guys.